Hey guys, what's going on? It's Matt from MechaPed.com today with a quick little tutorial. So just a little background information. You guys are all probably aware that YouTube has updated their layout. And while a lot of people like it, um, there are some really cool features that I appreciate, like the new design changes basically aesthetic-wise. Um, it all looks pretty sleek and uh, futuristic, so to say. Um, but I really feel that YouTube has lost a lot of basic functionality just on the homepage itself. So where it used to be where these all, all the videos... Um, Spanning across the screen, it would be really easy to just kind of like hone in on the video that you want to watch and click there. But with this new layout, not only does it only show videos from a couple of subscriptions, um, you actually have to scroll down a lot to find one that you like. So you can load more, but it's really not as convenient as just having them all placed across the screen. So today I'm going to show you how you can install a script to actually get this um, new, get rid of this new layout and kind of revert back to the old classic layout as I refer to it um, that everyone liked and uh, was familiar with and used to. So that's pretty much the same. Um, so basically what you're going to be using is a script. And while the functionality is built right into Opera and Chrome, for all the other browsers, you actually have to go and install a plugin called Grease Monkey. And uh, I can't show you that today just because of, because in, um, of an essence of time. If you search in Google Grease Monkey and then your browser name, um, there are a bunch of really easy instructions on how you can get it installed up and running. And then the rest of this, the rest of this tutorial is the same for you. So pretty much, I'm just going to show you in Chrome, which is really easy built in, and uh, then just show you all the functionality. So you want to click on the first link in the description, and it'll open it up in a new tab. And the script's called YouTube Back to the Old. So like I said before, this um, this script actually takes this new layout and um, actively converts it into the old layout. So YouTube's actually still sending you the new design. What it's doing is modifying the design um, back to the old one, like via template type thing. So we want to install, and you'll see right down here at the bottom it says, extensions, apps, and themes can harm your computer. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, we do. So it asks us again, do you want to install YouTube back to the old? And it can access your data on YouTube.com. And don't worry, it's not going to steal your password or username or anything like that, your email. Um, this is just what I was telling you about, how it act, how it actually like receives the data, modifies it, and then spits it back to your browser so it can display the old layout. So yes, we want to install. It'll give us a nice little pop-up saying that it's installed, so we'll click the X. And you'll see right now I'm on the new layout. All I have to do is refresh. And actually it was messing around with the configuration. Um, so what you just saw, I, I went to the top right, clicked on configuration, and let's turn this new homepage layout off. So we can redirect to index.ajax. That's pretty much the same thing. You don't really have to worry about that. You can turn the color scheme on and off. But I actually do like the color scheme. And colossal menus, I'm okay with that. It doesn't really matter to me. So I'll have to keep that off. So I'll save these changes and head back to YouTube. And so you'll see right now I actually have the old layout back. So I can go back to my subscriptions. And you see right here how it used to be all the way down the screen. Here's actually the old version. And since we still have the Ajax functionality, we can load more videos. So here's more older videos. So everything works really well. You see if I click on a video, it has uh, the old related videos. Everything looks the same. It's really cool. So that's it, guys. You have everything up and working. Um, I'm perfectly fine. I'm perfectly OK with you going ahead and showing this tutorial to someone else if you are a tech um, video maker. I just appreciate maybe a link back or some credit. Um, just send them over to me, Tech Teenager TV, and you can maybe even give them a subscription link, and I'll post that in the description below if you actually want to stay updated with my videos and uh, my content, because I I do produce um, content regular. I have unboxings, tutorials, stuff like this, and just general news videos. But that's it, guys. I hope I helped you, and I'll see you in the next video.